Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeannie. Thanks for tuning in. I have my dryer on in the background. I hope that you cannot hear that humming and if you can, I think I'm going to try to edit the sound out if I can. But meanwhile, I've got wash to do. It's, uh, it's wash day, so sorry. But uh, I wanted to go over a drugstore foundation that I am hearing a lot of good things about for mature skin. And you know, I'm going to try it for you if I'm hearing it's good for mature skin. Absolutely. And it is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I don't know, I didn't know what color to get, so I got two. I bought two. Soft Beige and Buff Bisque. I'm usually a Buff Bisque type of color but I just wasn't sure because it, it looked a little too dark and I thought if I mix it with the light one maybe it'll work for me but I really wanted to try this only because hearing a lot of mature women are saying they love this so why not let's try it and then I'm going to also use the Romantic Rose Milani uh, Rose Powder Blush a nude rose color and I'm going to also use the uh, Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lip Colors. I'm going, I bought two of them. One is cheeky and one is witty. Kind of neutral colors again, so I wanted to try that. I actually accidentally bought two of these. I don't know why. And the L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner in Toffee to Bay. I heard a lot of good things about this color. It's a go-to for a lot of women, so thought I'd try that. I have no makeup on because I just want to test the foundation and the lip colors without any distraction. Just thought, hey, let's go for it. I'm not even going to use a primer. I'm not even going to use a concealer. I just want to go for it with this foundation especially. So now I already put on the Pat McGrath Labs at, uh, Rose Essence. Divine Skin Rose Essence. I already use this. I use this every day. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. It's so good for your skin and it feels, feels so good. I'm going to, of course, do my normal with with uh, the Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Cream. I'm going to mix that with the foundation because it's just what I do. First, I'm going to test the color. This one is soft beige. Put my light on here. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. That's a really good match, shockingly. And this one is the Buff Bisque. And if I was ordering it online, I would have gotten the Buff Bisque. And honestly, that's why, because the Buff Bisque, I don't even, can you even see it? That's how much it blends. Key. So I'm just going to go ahead in, and I think what I'll do is I'll use the lighter uh, soft beige. Maybe I'll use that for a little bit of concealing. This is really, hmm, I don't know. I, I want to use this and put this on my face. So I think what I'm going to do, because I think that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm just going to get some of this moisturizer. I'm going to pat it on my face so that I can use that applicator the way it was meant to be used. Now if you guys have tried this foundation, comment below, let me know. I want to know how it worked for you. I'm always up for a good drugstore foundation. All right, here we go. my beauty blender to blend it out. Now the amount that I put on almost feels like a full coverage, but I don't know if this is even a full coverage foundation. It doesn't say. It is matte though. Wow. 
Okay, so this is a definitely a medium coverage, but this foundation is gorgeous. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. It's as good as the Lemur. It went on very evenly. It's very smooth. I didn't even use a primer, and yet I feel like it was a little blurry. It's a little brighter. I do not use a filter, guys. I do not. That's filter filtering your face on video is so wrong. But that's beautiful. Honestly, this Wet n Wild Foundation Photo Focus absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the soft beige under my eyes. Just a tiny bit. Very smoothing, very pretty. A light coverage for a concealer, but it works. I mean, you can set it with a, a powder, but. Whoa, okay. Now I'm gonna put on the Romantic Rose Rose Powder Blush from Milani. It's so pretty. I think this is fairly new, I'm not sure. Just going for a neutral, no makeup makeup look with no eye makeup, so literally, literally, no makeup makeup. The blushes, it's like the perfect nude. This blushes, even I don't know why they call it a rose, romantic rose. It's not a rose. It is a nude. But this blush is very smoothing. What I like about this color is I can go over my nose. I don't know what it is about these powder blushes and me anymore, but they are just working for me. A little bit on my eyes. Look at that, how smoothing this powder blushes. I am 59, gonna be 60. I have mature skin. And this blush is gorgeous. Smoothing, does not bring out my fine lines or wrinkles. If you're looking for a powder blush, try this one. Very pretty. Now I'm going to quickly go into the lip colors. I've got two, so, and I do want to try both. I'm going to put on the Color Rich L'Oreal Color Rich Toffee to Be lip liner. I'm looking at my monitor and not my mirror, so <laughs> I hope I do it right. First, I will start with Cheeky, Cheeky. Vinyl ink, blah, blah, Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink. That's Cheeky. Smells good. Smells like vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. All 
All right, so what I didn't know, see, I thought that these vinyl ink super stay lip colors, what do you, do you call them, like lip gloss or lip, I don't know. I'm gonna call it a lip color. I thought that this would be drying because any color stay type of lip product is drying you know I mean it's kind of a stain in it the whole idea is it's very dry and um, and that's why it's able to stay for as long as it does I mean some of them some of them last six hours and those type of lip products you know you usually put it on as a stain and then they give you a little gloss or something to put over it this is supposed to stay and give you shine but what I like about this it's smoothing on the lips it's very smoothing it doesn't bring out your fine lines on your lips so which is wow 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 I do I have lip filler on by the way so these aren't plumping my lips I just had lip filler last week so it won't stay like this, but I wish it would, honestly. I don't care. I like it this I like my lips this big. <laughs> Let's go and try the witty. A little more spicy. Mm-hmm. Still goes with the look though. Very smoothing. I can't get over how smoothing these are. I had no idea. really pretty so that's it guys just a quick video trying some drugstore makeup for you and everything worked everything worked for mature skin everything worked for my 59 year old skin definitely is going to be good for if you're looking for something that's smoothing does not bring out your fine lines and your wrinkles and if you're over 50 i test out products for women that are 50 and over but uh probably will work for anybody anyway Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you've tried any of these products. The Wet n Wild, it's it's amazing. I absolutely, I'm surprised. I really am. I never would have thought a Wet n Wild foundation would be as beautiful as it is. But I'll tell you what, this is just as good as any luxury brand. I, I'm serious. So, I don't know. But thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Please leave a comment below. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Love you. Watching? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're bored. But we're done. We're done with this video. We're done. The like button. Or the like button. Three.